Hi friends, uh, welcome back to uh, the next session of Coffee with Ravi. Today I wanted to kind of do a brief post on how we are using computer technology or artificial intelligence technology to help care better for the care of your conditions in gastroenterology. There are three examples that I want to use. The first one is what we call GI genius. So when we do colonoscopies, we are looking at the colon fields for bumps and lumps to make sure that there's no polyps. That's how, by taking these polyps out, that's how we prevent colon cancer. What GI Genius does is an artificial intelligence program that sits on top of what we're doing and helps us highlight those polyps that are being picked up by artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is an evolving field in both medicine as well as outside where computers are actually using big data at a very rapid speed to match up and give us information back in real time. This is somewhat similar to say, for example, when you call Walgreens and Walgreens phone system says, hey, what can I do for you? It's an artificial intelligence system. Similarly, there are artificial intelligence systems that are being used in radiology, which is a field where you're looking at x-rays. The computers then sit on top of it and back the physicians who are reading that. Similarly, this is an innovation and very few places in the country are using this at the current time and we're glad to report to you that we have been using this GI genius uh, at our place for the last couple of months and have had very good experience. How does that translate into better patient care? It helps us highlight even more areas than we are actually looking at and if there's, you know, it, it helps us minimize even the smaller ones or at least has a backup for us to highlight and look at it. And this video that I've inserted here shows you how, the, how it does that. So as we are withdrawing the scope and looking at the insights of the colon, the green boxes highlight areas that the computer is saying, hey, can you make sure that you pay attention to it? These may be areas that we are already paying attention to, but this is backup. So it's very interesting uh, evolving field and I'm happy to report that we're trying to stay on top of this and trying to implement this uh, uh, in our practice, in our community for better care of all of us here. The second area that we are doing in terms of using artificial intelligence or information technologies to help you is that in the pathology field. Pathology is a very visual field. What we do when we take out these polyps is that we are looking at these polyps under the microscope. When we look at it under the microscope, it tells us are there any bad cells, etc. A pathologist is looking at it. What we want now is to have a couple of sets of eyes on this so that at least two pathologists are looking at it in, in, in a, over a period of time. What we have with that is a professor from Rush, Dr. Jakarte, who's on our collaboration with us here, along with our pathologists here, Dr. Cooley and Dr. Waltman. And what they do is they use this camera called Spot Camera. Dr. Jakarte has had uh, decades of experience looking at GI pathology. Dr. Cooley and Dr. Waltman, between both of them, have decades of experience looking at GI pathology. And all three of them are collaborating on your behalf, talking to the gastroenterologist, using the spot camera, which is a very high definition camera that's sitting on top of our pathology, uh, on pathology microscope. And these images are getting confidentially uh, beamed and looked at in real time so that the report that is coming out is a little bit more nuanced. There are very few places in Iowa that are doing this and I'm happy to report that we are able to give you that level of care on the pathology side. So I just want to explain the back end of what we're doing. The third aspect of what we're doing is we're using some artificial intelligence uh, programs to help create better documentation. And here's how better documentation will help patient care. The more we can document the symptoms and the better we document our thinking process, that record helps us capture what you are telling us. Many times that, you know, in, in, med in medical field, uh, that, that's always a hard thing because it's, a, it, it's uh, uh, to capture that information. And what we're using now is a platform called DeepScribe that sits on top of IBM Watson. You may have seen advertisements of IBM Watson. IBM is a big uh, international company and they've developed uh, a technology called Watson. And what it does is it helps enhance the note uh, in a way that 
what we are capturing and putting back into the note about the patient interaction is a little better, a little more nuanced, a little more accurate. And uh, this has been a technology that we've been actually uh, using. Uh, and it has been helping, I think, on the back end, helping us communicate better among ourselves, helping us document what you've talked to us about. And this is uh, 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 another area that we're staying on the cutting edge, trying to uh, use latest advances in information technology and artificial intelligence in helping take care of you. So these are three examples. There are others that we are using, but I wanted to highlight this and uh, uh, seek your comments and uh, share my excitement on this. Um, but one other thing is that I know many of you have said, hey, what's happened to you? Why are you not uh, doing it on a more regular basis? And my promise is that I will try to continue to do this on a bi-weekly basis. Uh, keep encouraging me and keep giving me feedback and uh, uh, we appreciate all your comments, love and affection. Thank you.